So a few weeks ago on Instagram Reels, I shared a mini tutorial of how I created this vision board that I have as my desktop wallpaper on my Mac. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, go ahead and give me a follow. I'm at by.rosanna. I do share lots of mini tutorials on there. Um, but I wanted to make a YouTube video on it just to kind of cover all of the things that I wasn't able to cover in a 30 second reel. So as you can see, I've kind of combined a nice minimal feel where I can actually store my files and still see what's going on in this desktop wallpaper with a collage of images on the left hand side that I've used to just give me inspiration each day and to motivate me for the things that I want in life really. But the beauty with these vision boards is you can make them however you like. They can be super creative and arty. They can be really minimal and sleek. It's completely up to you. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to Pinterest. If you don't have a Pinterest account already, just create a free account. I've got a few, but I'm just setting it up on this one because I pin more kind of lifestyle stuff on my blog uh, Pinterest account. And what you're going to want to do is head over to your profile, go to the saved section and create a new board. Now to do this, all you need to do is click the plus button, click board and call it vision board or call it something along those lines. It doesn't really matter what, um, just type in the name there. And what you can do as well, if you've got a Pinterest profile that looks all nice and you don't want to add your vision board board to your actual profile for people to see, you can keep it secret. So you can tick this box and that will hide it from everyone else. Only you can see this board. So I've got one already. So I'm going to scroll down here and show you and click on vision board here. Um, and you can see I actually have two different sections in my vision board. Um, I had one for 2020 and I've made one for 2021. Um, if you want to add sections to your board, you can just by going to organize and then click add section down here and just give it a name. And it basically creates like a mini board within a board if you want to do that. So this is what mine looks like. And once you've created your board, you can then start pinning images to it to fill it up so that it looks just like this one. So you'll notice on my board, there's a broad range and a mixture of different types of images. And that is what I would highly recommend. This is one of my biggest tips is don't just go on your Pinterest home feed and scroll through um, and just pin random images. Actually search for things um, that inspire you and that you're motivated by. Search for quotes, search for fashion, search for adventure or outdoors or interior decor all of those different topics together give you a more rich vision board rather than you just having what ends up as a home vision board or a travel vision board that's just full of travel photos or just full of home photos. You want to have a nice mix of things so that you've got more to look at each day when you log onto your computer. So you can see I've got some quotes here. I've got some outdoorsy things. Um, I've got some travel and fashion related things. But what I would suggest is using the Pinterest search tool and just searching for things that you like. So for me, it was minimal fashion was one of the things. Um, you could pin stuff like tattoos or anything you see here that then gets you down a rabbit hole as well. That's the great thing about Pinterest. I could then click on one of these images and if I scroll down, it then gives me more that look just like that. So it's giving me, in this case, lots of different jumper options, but with a more lifestyle type of image, it might give me um, like this bedroom image. If I scroll down, we get lots of bedrooms of the same feel. But again, don't just stick with one theme. You want lots of different things. Don't be afraid to just type in quotes or motivational quotes um, and just have a scroll through Find one that you like maybe the look and style of, maybe you like the more handwritten look, click on it and use the more like this section to find even more things that inspire you. So when you see something that you want to save to your vision board on Pinterest, what you can do is select this little drop down here and search for your vision board board. Click on it. This one's asking me which section I want to save it to, or you can just select the actual section itself click save and that will pin it to your vision board and you can click that down here um, to get taken to it. Click refresh and it should have added that pin right there for me. I didn't pick a section so it's just gone there in the middle of the board there. 
Once you've got around kind of 20 plus pins, I would suggest 20 is a good minimum to aim for on your board and you want to get creating your desktop wallpaper, just head over to canva.com. Now Canva is completely free. If, again, if you don't have an account, you can create an account um, in seconds. I will leave the link in the description. And the great thing about Canva is they've got pre-designed templates for you. So you can literally click on create a design up here and just search for desktop wallpaper click that and it will open up a blank canvas in the right size that you need. Now what you might want to check just to make sure that everything fits perfectly on your screen is go onto Google and type in the computer and screen size that you have and then type in something like background size or wallpaper dimensions or something like that afterwards just to double check that these measurements that Canva have given you are correct. You can check that by going to file you can see the file measurements under here. Um, so just double check that whatever kind of laptop you're using or computer you're using, um, you want to make sure that those sizings are right. If the Canva one isn't correct, what you can do is click create design and then click custom size and you can type in the pixel width and height yourself based on um, what you find in your Google search about your computer's uh, dimensions. For the sake of this, I'm just going to use the Canva uh, default template here. So head back to your vision board and then you just want to start saving these images to your computer. So just right click on any of these, click save image. Um, I did control click, by the way, if you're on a laptop um, and you're not using a mouse um, and you just want to save them to a folder. So I've just created a folder on my desktop called vision board um, and I'm just going to save all of these images to that folder. So now if we go to my desktop, click vision board, you should see these uh, photos are in there now. Head back to Canva and your desktop canvas and click the uploads tab on the left hand side. Here you can click upload from your computer and head over to your vision board folder that I just created. Select all the images you've just saved and click open. And this will upload them all. Now this is the part where you can just start arranging your photos, just click on the ones that you want to add and you can use the little circles in the top right and left corners of your image files here to just drag and resize them uh, to make them different sizes. You can click and drag to move them around. It's really, really easy to just create a little collage however you want to um, using Canva. However, if you like a more organized, polished look, you can also use Canva's collage tool by going to elements and then scrolling down to the grids section. Um, and this is just a place where you can create these kind of grid and collage templates. So scroll down until you find one that you like or contains the amount of images that you want to use. Um, let's just click on this one and you can see it will automatically fill the space of your canvas with this collage. And what you can then do is click and drag any images that you've uploaded into these spots. You can double click the image to change the crop and how it actually shows in these spaces to create kind of a more even look if you like that look instead. Um, I personally quite like the kind of hand done collage thing where the, um, images are overlapping, um, maybe they're being cut off by the top so that it looks like an actual collage or a vision board that you might have stuck together yourself um, physically. Another thing that you can do, which I did on mine, as you can see here, is I've added like a little sidebar that actually has some blank space so that I can still organize my folders without kind of looking at through all the images on the vision board and being like, where are the actual folders? It's too cluttered. I needed some minimal space on mine. So if you want to do that, what you need to do is go to elements um, and exit out of the grid section that we were just in and just go to shapes and click the rectangle here. So then you can change the color as well by clicking on it and then clicking this little color up here. You can change it to white if you just want a white space. 
I like the really pale grey because this is my brand colour palette um, and that pale grey is part of my brand colours. Um, you'll notice as well that I have my brand colour palette here available for me to easily click through. This is a feature of the Canva Pro plan so you can get Canva for free um, and have a totally free account or you can pay monthly for it and I think it's like £10 a month or something like that. I pay monthly for mine so that I can get extra features like having my brand colour palette there which just makes it quicker and easier to design things. When I design things for clients I can create templates for them. There's loads of other different features that you do get with Canva Premium but there's also loads of stuff you can do with the free version. So if you don't have the ability to add your brand colour palette here just click the plus button and you can type in your brand colour hex codes in here and it will give you the same effect. It's just quicker doing it this way. So what I did on my desktop wallpaper is I just changed the shape of the rectangle a bit um, and just left this as a nice blank space for me to be able to organise my files still. You'll also notice that I added some text to mine just with words that I really want to focus on um, for 2021 um, and I did that by basically adding some text by clicking the text button. You can use some of that pre-made layouts here or you can just add um, some text in and again click and drag to change the sizing. You can select up here to change the font. Um, now the font I used for mine is actually a brand font that I uploaded to Canva. Again, that's a premium um, plan feature is uploading your own custom fonts, um, but they do have loads and loads of fonts that you can choose from um, and handwritten ones um, as well, like this, for example. So you can definitely still get that handwritten effect. Um, I also added things like brush strokes um, and some leaf patterns behind. Again, all of that came from Canva. So what you can do is go to the elements section and just search for whatever you want to add to your vision board, basically. Maybe you want to add some heart stickers or something like that. We've got loads of different options here for different designed hearts, um, depending on what your style is. Um, what did I search for? Brush stroke. Um, and you can just find a load of different styles of brush stroke here, change the colour to fit with your brand. There's loads of different things that you can add just to make it not just images, just to make it more stylized, pretty to look at, more like a real vision board that you might actually make out of arts and crafts, basically. Anyway, so clearly this isn't um, the finished result, but um, just for uh, demonstration purpose, all you need to do once you are finished is click the download button and click download and it will download this file to your computer ready for you to use as your desktop background. Now I'm using a Mac so the way that I added it to my desktop background was I went to system preferences, desktop and screensaver. So here now it's asking me what file I want to use as my desktop background. Obviously I want to use the one we just created. Um, so what I would do is I would search for the folder um, that I've just saved the desktop background file in. Maybe it's in your downloads. Um, you can click the plus button here um, to actually search for it. I'm gonna select downloads. And if I wanted to, I could select that file here that we just downloaded from Canva. Obviously I don't actually want to use that one because that was just an unfinished bit. But you just select it and then it will automatically update the background for you and it is that simple. Obviously if things don't kind of fit right or they don't look right you can then go back into Canva um, and just move things around a little bit, tweak it a little bit and download it again and do the same process to change it. But I hope you found this helpful. If you like videos like this or more content like this, please do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content each week. Thanks so much and I'll be back again next week with another video. Bye.